नमस्कार वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल आई थिंक वी रोल सो वी रोल्ड आउट अ सर्वे लास्ट वीक आस्किंग सम ऑफ द डब्ल्यू एफ एम प्रोफेशनल दैट विच फॉर्मूला डू दे यूज फ्रॉम एन अंग लाइब्रेरी टू कैलकुलेट द हेड काउंट रिक्वायरमेंट एट आर्ली और इंटरवल लेवल बेसिस इंटरवल कैन बी ऑफ फिफ्टीन मिनट्स थर्टी मिनट्स सिक्सटी मिनट्स and 55% people say they use fractional agent remaining 33 people say they use an agent formula and the remaining population say they don't know and 3% population say they don't use at lang at all now in this series and this is a video one for this um, we'll try to cover uh, multiple stuff what is the difference between agents fractional agent formula then we will cover uh, uh, where we don't use erlangs um in the calculation correct and how do we use it in an excel as a one of the video which will be following up with this video i'm just showing the excel calculation plus how to add uh erlang c as an add in in excel and how to convert that basis the hours what we consume so that's what we will be covering in this series now so uh, let's start the topic today uh, what is today's topic is what is the difference between erlang c agent and the fractional agent formula so let's understand what is erlang c erlang c is a very powerful mathematical equation which is used by the contact centers kpos bpos uh, any service industries or the call centers to gauge or to calculate the optimal number of agents needed to achieve a specific service level at that particular interval level this has been based uh, named uh, after the danish mathematician ak erlang who developed it i think 100 years back now what happens when you calculate and when you use an agent formula the output what you get after putting all the information it gives you a round ft requirement so for example for any workload if you calculate your requirement is let's say 3.7 instead of giving you 3.7 it gives you the number at 4 correct so that gives you the requirement from an agent formula and we'll see it it's in a follow follow up video which possibly will come in two days time that how do we do that and how what how the difference looks like <coughs> two when we look at the fractional agent formula the fractional agent formula will actually calculate the workload needed at that hour even at the fractional level so it will actually give you a accurate a slightly more uh, accurate or the precious uh, precise um, head count requirement for that interval which you can utilize uh, to figure out that how much additional capacity you are carrying during that interval uh, because of the uh, usage of the um, agent formula right now we will uh, so that's the difference between these two numbers so in this scenario the first number which we said uh, just a hypothetical situation the number will come 4 and the it will come 3.7 so you have a 0.30 worth head count ft hours being available during the tower which can be utilized for any other activity into if you have in office linkages called npt uh, trainings anything or breaks okay so that's a, a basic difference between um, agent and a fractional agent don't forget to like subscribe the channel and share um.